So let's continue on with this degradation of this thing called the church, which is nothing but a fucking watered-down Masonic Lodge. It's nothing but a ruling class of elitist fraternist scumbags that have duped the average Joe into thinking there's something great and wonderful going on, when in fact there's absolutely nothing going on except tyranny, because Saturn is the god of fascism, and we all know who that is, right? So here it is, here, right? In the church window. I didn't put it there. I didn't put it there, but I know what it is. I know that this is a four-leaf clover. Now you know why that is a lucky symbol, because to these guys it is, right? And here we have, who do we have? What's his name? He's a very special guy. He likes to make guest appearances occasionally. Saint Saturnus. There he is. And what is he standing underneath? He's standing underneath the Masonic Arch in France. Tao Lao, um, I'm not going to pronounce it, um, is in France. And so here he is standing underneath the Masonic Arch. And then here we have the Christian Station, WJYS. Now I stop this mid-commercial, and you can see that the word, the way, backwards, is really Yahweh. You see how they do that? So here's your connection between your white supremacy and your Hebrew Zionist movement combined. This is in the Catholic Church. This is in the Protestant or the uh, just your average everyday Joe type churches. But here's, here's where your Hebrew comes in. So there really is no Hebrew Nazi hate fascism. Uh, against each other were the best. It's really ever all of them working together. I mean, it bears it out. The pictures bear it out. Queenie Cameron, I can tell you this, is 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 PC. And when I say PC, I don't mean politically correct. I mean Phoenician Christian. You know, she's the one that wants to cut everybody's head off because they won't worship her. Because she can read things out of a book. <laughs> so, Queenie, you're PC. All of you fuckers are PC. There's nowhere where Jesus ever said worship me. There's nowhere anywhere where Jesus said name a religion after me. There's nowhere where he said name a Christianity. Why is that? Why is that there? Why is that there? Well, he is the son of God. That part is true. I know that inside of me that to be true. But this, this is all man-made stuff. This is taking a very old system from Babylon, right? Babylon, the Pantheon gods, all of that. Go talk to Inky35, who's been on for 11 months, who's really Queenie Cameron. And go look at hers, and you'll see Marduk. Who is who? He's the, the Hebrew Jacob. Same guy, same girl. Jacob in the Bible is very effeminate. Okay, so now you're getting into the androgyny stuff. I'm not going to get into all of that. I'd rather wait and to hear Queenie scream and, and call me all kinds of names like I'm a horrible Jew. Well, why would you call me your co- I'm, I, wouldn't I be one of your comrades? Because really, Saturnia, remember the old Russian flag? It had the hammer and the sickle. You remember that flag? You know what that is? That's the hammer of Thor and the sickle of Saturn combined. So, there, you, know, you know, I'll either hammer you into place or I'll cut you down. Sorry. Sorry that your fucking religion is bullshit. I'm sorry that the shit that you quote saying this and that is nothing more than Talmudic, um, basically white supremacy. See, the old Buddha, the real one, is a white Aryan dude. Go do your reading. Of course, you already know that, don't you, Queasy? Queasy. Queasy Cameron. PC. Queasy. Queenie Cameron, the PC, Phoenician Christian. You already know the Buddha, the real Buddha. Not the short little fat fuck they got in here now, but the real one was Aryan. And he was a warlord. Go look it up. He was white. Just like your religion here. It's bullshit. Bullshit. All you got to do is look at the facts. What you're really worshiping is this ball here, which represents... A male and a female entity. Which has nothing to do with the God that you have created in your head. 
or the Father. Quit using that word God. Use the word Father. It's a big difference between the two. When you went to school, the principal was God there, wasn't he? But he wasn't your father. Okay? If you fucked up in school, the principal punished you. That's why they called him the principal, because he's the law. But when you got home, eh, you did things with your father. This, all of this, is nothing but garbage. All of this is garbage. Why do you think Jesus said, I came to put the law... Jesus is considered the first lawbreaker. And the people say, oh, he came to fulfill the law. The law of what? What law did he fulfill? He was the first lawbreaker. Now, now that you, you get the edits to go, now, Moses was, because he broke the tablets. Go stick your head in an oven, stupid. All of this world is nothing, nothing but a big, big scam. And here it is right here, right in front of your face. So I'm telling you, don't go to church. They're made, they fucking every church, every temple, every mosque is built by the Masons. Don't you understand? There's one controlling force and one only. If they look, if you had one one religion, let's just say you had one. We'll just call it the Catholic religion. Sooner or later, you're going to get enough people that are in that religion that are going to go, you know what, I don't agree with this. And now you've got a problem because it could cause the whole religion to collapse. So to protect that, you create a second religion. This is where you get this bullshit story of Martin Luther breaking off from the church and saying, you're lying to the people, I'm going to start the real religion, when in fact he was, he was told by the Pope to go and create another religion so that the people that were dissenters would run over there and hang out with him and say, you're evil, and then the, Christ, the Catholics would say they're evil, and then they would start battling for hundreds and hundreds of years. Right? And then from there, they split off to the to Episcopalians and Methodists. And then finally got down to the stupid thing that I got duped into called Lutheranism. Right? But it's all really the same thing. Because if we're all fighting with each other and saying, my religion's the right one or yours is the right one, we'll never look at it and go, you know what? There's some flaws in the writings here. But that's what they want. Okay? There is no Nazi Hebrew uh, hatred on the highest level. If you keep dividing, you keep conquering. So all of this is bullshit. Yes, Jesus Christ is the son of, 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 of the Father. But the God of this world, the he, she that runs this place, makes all the laws. Because he's the principal. But it's law. It has nothing to do with love. It has nothing to do with forgiveness in this joint. All right, do you understand? You can see it right here. So Queenie Cameron is PC, and I'm not, I don't mean politically correct. She's a Phoenician Christian. Get that word through your head, because that's what Christianity is. The people in it shouldn't have to suffer because of the lack of knowledge. I'm not saying that you should despise the people that are in the Christian religion. Despise the system of Christianity. The people ain't doing nothing wrong. They just don't know. And where that gets a little aggravating is they don't want to know. But you can't hold them accountable, you know, because we were all blind at one point. But it's, it's you know, don't further yourself to this ridiculous bullshit written out crap uh, like Queenie Cameron. Oh, First Thessalonians and, and this book and that book said this and that. You know, I know that's a bad rendition of her because she has a more manly voice. Sound more, she sounds more like a Chuck or a Bruce. But um, you get the point. You get the point. Quit blaming the Catholic religion. It, it's all of them together. It's the same thing. And I ain't doing John Lennon. Imagine there's no religion. No, I'm not doing that either because that's the other fucking end of the spectrum. Two pillars. Either you're this or you're this. It's, it's the in-between thing. Okay? And you could tell right here. See this, Saint Saturn? You could tell he's high as a motherfucker. Look at that. He's like, this dude here is like, dude, you got to hit this. He goes, this this stuff is the bomb. You can see. I mean, all you do is look at the pictures. St. Saturnus floating around in a bubble right here in between. You know. Look at, look at the deception, aside from all the funny stuff. Don't pick on the Christians because they're just that. They're just Christians. They don't know. But there's a lot of damn good people in there. Really good people. People like Queenie Cameron are PC. 
Phoenician Christian. That's your new name, you big, fat, gay, perverted slob. Because I know you're going to hear this, so that's what you are. A big, fat, gay, perverted slob. Or a big, fat fuck, or whatever you want to, you'd like me to call you. But you damn sure ain't what you, what you, well, you know what? She really does play the role of the way Christianity really should be because she's condemning and she hates everybody. So actually, she's really doing a good job for the faction that she's supporting. The problem is she's not telling you that the faction she's supporting has no love or forgiveness in it. What she's telling you is, fuck you, I know everything, and you should all be burnt at the stake. And then after she said that, speaking of steak, I think I'm going to go to Outback and uh, eat 50 or 60 <clears throat> pancakes before dinner. You get the point. Queenie is about as close to, the, to what Christianity really is than anybody I've ever seen. So I'm going to give her two thumbs up for that. I'd like to give her a third thumb right up her ass, but I'm afraid it might eat it. <laughs> <laughs>